Have you ever needed a timer more precise than a hopper clock, but just didn't have a design for it? Well, fear no longer, for I have created this variable timer, which can actually go all the way up from 0.4 seconds, all the way up to 11 minutes and 30 seconds consistently, which is much better than a hopper timer. Those can go up to about four to five minutes maximum. So this is double the time. And, you know, I think honestly much simpler to use. But enough of that, let's give a demonstration. So to actually program this machine, it's really simple. All you have to do is use the equation items equals seconds times 2.5. So if you want a 60 second timer, you do 60 times 2.5, which turns out to be 150. And now to prove it to you, I have 150 diamonds here. And right as the first diamonds go in, I will start a timer, and that should be almost exactly one minute. So, as that's going, I'll uh, explain what's happening here. So, as the items filter through, uh, this is on from the computer, because items are filtering through. Uh, turning this torch off, and turning the redstone output off. As soon as this is empty, this turns back on, firing our any item into this hopper. Um, causing it to be detected, and firing off this sticky piston. Now, this right here is timed so that once this reaches the top, it gets pushed over to the side, and then this is pushed over in the way as well. So basically, the full one became empty, and now this will be the full one, and they basically can switch spots and just keep doing it infinitely. Now the reason this can only go to about a minute and 30 seconds is because of actually the limits inside of the minecart. Uh, if it was a larger minecart, or like a double chest minecart, which is not possible obviously, um, then you could have a much longer timer, but let's see it in action. And there you go. As you can see, the full one switched with the empty one, and now the timer is back, and that should have been uh, almost exactly a minute. I'm not sure because what to do that in post, but you get the idea. All right, let's build this bad boy. To build the variable timer, you're going to need a four block by four block by seven block area, and as well as these materials up top. You're also gonna need one regular rail and any item of any type. So to get this redstone build started off, you're going to wanna place two blocks like this and another third one up like this, no block below. Redstone dust, and to make sure it also has uh, the four kind of prong looking areas. Uh, redstone torch, and a comparator, like that. Then drop down your singular sticky piston and your singular slime block, with a dropper facing this direction, and a hopper going into that. Now's a good time to find your any item and chuck it in there. And then you're going to want to place a block right there. That's a scaffolding block with a hopper going into that, okay? Very important, make sure it's going this direction or this will not work. Next, you're going to want to place a block like that, a block like that, and a comparator heading out of that. Torch right there. Don't worry, that is perfectly normal. And a dust right there. So, now you're going to want to raise this bad boy up and bring it out. Uh, this much, only one. And now you're going to start placing your pistons. So you can place one right there. Have two redstone going into it. Grab your repeater and set it to two ticks uh, delay. Torch right there. Block up top with another piston like this. And don't forget a block right here. That is very important. Go away, Rain. Or else the minecart will actually launch too high and, you know, get out of uh, circulation, which is not very good. Then you want to grab your rail, place it right there, then place your minecart hopper, break it, rail, minecart hopper, break it. Now, be very sure you do not use uh, more than one rail at a time, because then uh, it will, you know, go slide on down and then pop on out, and that will be very bad. And to take your redstone out from this machine, all you have to do is place a block right there, and basically anything you want. Uh, you can have a redstone line going out, or you can just have a lamp there. It's not too important. But uh, do note that once this is actually on, uh, this will be off instead. So if you just want a pulse of on, uh, this is a setup you want. You don't want to invert this again. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Well, 
Thank you for watching today's video, and if you have any interesting uh, redstone machines that you'd like me to make, uh, drop them down in the comments. I'd love to give my hand a try at making them. And if you enjoyed, as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!